Do, 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 do. X gets X plus one. And then we'll say invoke return invoke s4 and the minus one specifies n x specifies x and this time we can say we'll just use plus invoke s4 and minus two goes to n x specifies x That means you know this program needs one more case to deal with to handle it. Three more rows. One indentation. I'll throw it in for free. It's a free option. Okay. And here we have the main subroutine. Uh, let's say we have a local variable. We'll call that K. Doesn't matter what we call it. And we'll say print. Invoke S4. Mm, I think this time I'll just be, let's see, yeah, two. Let's use two. I'm trying to debate whether to specify a two or a three because a two seems too simple and a three is kind of like, you know, too difficult. We'll just use a two. For those of you who want to make it more difficult, you can try it one more time, but use three instead of a two. Hmm? <laughs> you guys know when to ask for extra credit. It's just the right moment, huh? I don't know yet. Uh, let me let me think about it. So two specifies n, and then k specifies x. Just like that. And just for kakas, you know, we'll just print k right after that, you know, just so that we know what k will, what kind of value k has. And and define sub. Both main is the only code outside of the subroutine definitions. Okay. Give my numbers. Are we okay with this one? I mean, let me just quickly go over the, the code and just so that we know what the program <clears throat> is saying. Okay. Subroutine S4 has two parameters. The first one is n, which is passed by value. The second one is x, which is passed by reference. And this is why it is important to execute the left one first and then the right-hand side. Because if you do it in the wrong order, it may not give you the same result. Okay, so with this one, you have to be careful. Always take care of the left-hand side and then take care of the right-hand side. <clears throat> and then we check whether n is 0. If n is 0, we initialize x to 0, and then we return x. Otherwise, we... Okay, let's, let me just change this line a little bit here. Just change it to x is initialized to 1, return x. Otherwise, we add 1 to x, and then we return this result here. Actually, I think this is not going to work. <laughs> I can already see it's not going to work because I'm accessing the value of x before it gets initialized. So, this going to get a little bit difficult. Yeah, it looks like I have to initialize everything first because I can't depend on the last portion to initialize it. And we can do it any way we want. Let's 
Sorry about this. Okay. There we go. I think that should be good. So where do you initialize x? Hmm? Initialize k. Yep, because but k is passed by reference to x. If in other words, you know, the x of S4, they are all basically aliases of k of main. As long as I as long as I initialize k, then all the parameter x's will refer to a value that is already initialized. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so let me make sure this is all saved. Save it to today's folder, and also do I will save it to the homework assignment too. And that's going to be your new homework assignment. Think this one will be okay. It does come. It, it, the passing by reference, you know, does make it a slightly more complicated, but the complication does not affect the return statements or you know the fact that you have two invocations on the same return statement. It just kind of changes the value it's going to return instead of Fibonacci, it's going to return something other than Fibonacci numbers. So we'll do it as a recursion with return values. <laughs> download this file this pseudo code is in sheet one trace it in sheet two Is everybody okay with this homework assignment? I mean, it resembles the one that we just did, and also resembles you know Fibonacci. If you look at how the invocations go, it should be exactly the same as you know Fibonacci. But if you look at the value, it's going to return. It's going to be different. Okay, so that's the that's the only part that makes it you know slightly more interesting because I don't want it to do exactly as the program that we have gone through before. So this one makes it a little bit different, but yet you know shares enough of the features that we know how to deal with it. Okay, this is for, and I'll give you guys one week to do it. You know, for let's say fifty points. So we'll make it do exactly before the class. This is also part of the homework. I will make the other one, you know, extra credit. So, you know, if you did not turn in anything, or if you turn in something that I cannot assign any points to, don't worry. It does not count for anything. But this one will. <laughs> okay. Are we doing okay so far with this? Okay. All right. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Get started with a homework assignment as soon as you can, so this way you can ask questions on Wednesday.